Hi, I'm Mark Sampati from the Cryo Sports Treatment Clinic. Today I want to just talk to you a little bit about what we do when we're treating a mallet finger or a sprained finger. A mallet finger is when the end joint here, the, the little one at the end there between the middle and the, the end bone is injured. Usually when a ball hits the end of it, it can rupture the tendon here or it can cause a little fracture of where the tendon attaches to the bone there. Um, essentially we need to diagnose this with an x-ray to determine if there is a big fragment or a small fragment um, but essentially most people end up with the little finger joint there basically bent and they can't straighten their finger we can push it up but then it flops back down again what we do to manage it is you need to have a splint um, this is a thermoplastic I've moulded to fit onto my finger here Basically we put it on the finger and then we tape it on so that the end bit there that's flopped down is held up by the, the splint. So the splint sits on like that and we tape it up so that it stays on. So generally we place the finger on the, um, the table there and then we use a piece of tape to tape it on. So we hold it like that, put the tape over the tip of the finger there and we go around the top of the splint and around the back, pretty much winding it on. And that holds the finger nice and straight. Once people have had a week or two with the, the splint on, they can often return to sport. You would reinforce that with some more rigid taping. Also, you would buddy tape the fingers together. So putting some tape around both of the fingers to protect that finger from being hit on the end again. So that's what we do when someone has an injury to um, the tendon um, created by a ball to the end of the finger, um, causing a fracture or a tendon rupture. We splint it, has to be splinted for six weeks at a minimum. Most people often need night splinting for another two weeks, so eight weeks all up. Then we work on trying to strengthen and get the movement back in the finger. But if it isn't splinted, you'll end up with a finger that flops on the end like that, causes lots of problems in the long run. So get your finger checked out if you injure it, make sure that you get the right management early so that you get a good result and a good outcome. If it's something more significant, we can send you off for um, an opinion from a specialist like a plastic surgeon or an orthopaedic surgeon. Um, that's a little bit about mallet finger and finger injuries. Thank you.